she came later and picked me up and said. Do you know they make they make things for people like that too? It's just a different type of tool. Super thick. I mean, this if is all. If you're going to teach karate to children, you have to get out there and you have to go to these if tournaments. You to go in and and you to go That's right. What were you asking? I just told her see how you get charged so when you work. Yeah. <laughs> okay, painters and drywallers, the ty- amount of times they tell you it's water cleanup, and I said, then why don't you clean it up with water? I d- I've just had so many drywallers. Drywallers are the worst. They'll like just leave mud and they're like, you can clean it up with water. I'm like, but you yeah. left it in the carpet you know and you didn't clean it up. You know who else is bad about our cleaning up? What's that? Electricians. <coughs> yeah, they leave it. They think they're, uh, they think their yeah. trash is so smart. Like, this is wires. Nobody probably even knows what well, this is. It's above yet. them. <laughs> These <laughs> dumb people <laughs> don't even know what this was. We had a lady that poured epoxy for us. I shouldn't even say this. She didn't work for me, thank Jesus. Um, But she used to use some of our products, and we had to stop that really quick. But um, she had not masked cabinets, peeled all the epoxy off, and told the lady it was distressed. So if you're in a real kitchen, pull your drain out, bathroom, put a cup underneath that drain, and just catch all your products. Do you have a brush, somebody in here? So we just let it run out into Yep. Oh, th- no, no, no. Don't. They'll get one, Michael. Oh, you used it? Yeah, you're okay. I'll use a new one. No, oh, thank you, though. Thank you, Jerry. I appreciate that, too, though, very much. I'll keep that one. That's my brush can right there. So, so. I'm just looking for any little thick spots, heavy spots, nothing big. Just don't want to make sure there's no big pools or drips or anything. Push everything down to the bottom, down into that drain. Now, if this was a tub, we'd be capping our drain off sometimes, and sometimes you can remove the drain as well. But if I remove the drain, I just foil tape, um, kind of like a pipe around the top. Not a pipe, but like I make that shape with foil tape. Um, yeah, and you really got to make sure it's like bonded well too. So, with yeah, good, goes without wait. saying. How long do we wait before we pull the cup up? Um, the next day, just pop it the next morning. Yeah. Now, don't ever torch verticals for any reason. Jerry, don't ever torch verticals. A, vor- a vertical will run. So all these walls are verticals, right? There you are. And there I can see where somebody didn't clean some silicone right there. I don't know. That was your fault, Chris, not mine. You know, no, 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 no. I'm the one that inspected it, and that's my fault because I looked at it and didn't inspect it correctly. So you got to blame it on the boss. I wouldn't do it. We don't do vanning with this. You do whatever you want to do with it. We don't make the tub coating for vanning, though. We make it for single. Yeah, tubs and sinks, and this is not made for, if you want to do stuff like that, just use it at your own. What about like tinted, like with black, white, green, blue? Um, just learn how to do a tub first and then do this. I mean, it's very, very, very different than other products just because you're going to get sag and flow, and look how nice, I mean, it's already glass, so we don't fuck with this. This is going to be a very nice little sink, but like I'm already seeing land land in it and stuff, but yeah. Just this, I mean... Realize this was meant to have surface tension to hold in an area, so it wasn't. It doesn't flow the same way with the veins. It's a little different, yeah. And, and like sinks, you're going to be coming across here. It better be vertical into here and then across, and then it's going to pour to the drain. And it's just really hard to make sinks look really. You could do one or two, but. No, it's good. Yeah, and if you wanted to spray glitter into it, just let this get tacky to where it's not really dripping too much. Because if it if it does. It, it is like solidifying pretty good, but there's a little movement still happening. If you just spray glitter into it right now, then a little bit of um, product will just move and settle, and it'll leave like a stretch mark in that material where it's all really perfect glitter, and there'll be like a wrinkle in it. So, so just let it set for like an hour, hour and a half, and then do it. Yes, ma'am? Um, no, no, I don't. I don't. This, this tub and sink coating, we didn't do for that. That would be more of the countertop or the flooring. So, but yeah. So 
only solid color. So mm -hmm. Well, we can blow glitter on this now and see if it's too soon. It's not very big. If I find my glitter S blower. I'm not sure where I, maybe I left it out here. I did forget that I'm still on a live. Am I on a live right now? I'm just wearing the thing. Yeah, you are. Okay, guys, I hope I haven't said anything really offensive because I did forget I was on a live. Really? Yeah, totally. Am I on a live? Yeah. Okay, I love you guys. Sorry. I probably didn't have anybody on there watching, but I. Don't worry, Jerry. A little heavier than I meant to. Hey, you know what though? Moderation's for cowards. And always blow this out because yes, you show up on a job and you're around a bunch of dudes that think you're a man and they already see you jump out and your little leaf blower is just a little shorter than all the other men's leaf blowers. Theirs are more like this and stuff. And you're like, well, it's okay, I still have a leaf blower. And then you, you pull that trigger and glitter pops out and then everybody looks at you and you're like, it's the wrong one. I, gra I grabbed my girlfriend's leaf blower. So, um, tools for Christmas. Thank you guys for joining us on the live. I love you guys. Kill your local pedophile. Come to a class. You get this badass shirt we came up with. You know, I came up with this shirt as an idea because I got sick of the normalization of hurting kids being an average everything day thing. And I think people should fuck people like that up. So that should be normal. So, anyways, love you guys. We'll see you guys on. We'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll see you guys in a month, and maybe you sooner. All right. Is that fun? Your daughter would love it.